thinking is fruit be spread for all, both internal and extra uh, internal and extra school composition. Today, today also is the prize giving ceremony as many of you will be collect many you know, one prize or the other. Well done. Keep the ball rolling, scan is your limit. So those of you who will not collect prices. This will be a challenge to you all, a challenge of you working harder to be clapped for Sunday. The Lord be with you throughout your endeavors. Holiday coaching starts on 29 July 2019. School resumes on 9 September 2019. Enjoy the joyous and glamorous occasion. Thank you and God bless you. Stage. The question is, 
are they prepared to handle the challenges of the next stage in life? This is a major problem in Nigeria today. You will all agree with me. I have seen a graduate of mechanical engineering that has spent five years in the university but could not handle a broken down car machine. I have also seen a graduate of English language that could not speak a sentence without making mistakes. You, the parents, and I also, have the ultimate responsibility of ensuring that these children are prepared physically, spiritually, materially, morally, and academically for the next level of their lives. And finally, for the parents, I know that it is God that protects. But please, you have to be extra careful for the safety of these children in view of the present security situation in the country. My prayer is that as you continually carry out your God-given mandate of nurturing these children to adulthood, the good Lord will continually give you wisdom, good health, long life, and open doors of divine opportunity so that you can all be responsible parents and enjoy the fruit of your labor. For the management of this great school, the teaching and the non-teaching staff, I want to say, on behalf of the parents and students, a very big thank you in capital letters. 29th graduation ceremony and still waxing stronger in the life of any institution in this rough operating terrain is not a joke at all. Many institutions that started together around the same time have closed down by now. Personally, I thank the management for creating a big, strong and reliable platform for these children to develop, nurture and display their God-given talents. I would also like to thank Mr. Adekoju and his team, Mrs. Idiyanoma, Mr. Yeni, Mrs. Balogun, Mr. Ogunshaki, and others too numerous to mention for their commitment and diligence. I can only pray as you continually mold the lives of these children and prepare them for the global stage. The good Lord will also not forget you and your families in the mighty name of Jesus. And lastly, for the graduating students, there is a saying that 20 children cannot play together for 20 years. Do you agree with that? But I want to thank God because you have all finished well. And I say a brief congratulation to you all. I want you to always remember that what, wherever you find yourself, when the next session begins, you are no longer representing yourself and family alone. You are now representing your alma mater. But wherever you find yourself, Always remember that you are no longer representing yourselves alone. You are no longer representing your family alone. You are also representing this school. You are now ambassadors of this school. This school has given you a brightly lit torch. Never let the torch go down, go dim or be put out. It is also said that your attitude determines your altitude. Do you know what altitude means? I want you to I want you to ensure that your attitude is 100 percent Do you know the spelling of attitude? Yes. Who can spell attitude for me here? Very good clap for her. A T T I T U D E. From A to Z, we have 26 letters, isn't it? 1 to 26. A is 1, 
is it if T is 20? Now, if you write attitude and you attach the numbers to them, you will see that attitude is 100%. What am I trying to say? I want you to ensure that your attitude is always 100% in your academics, character, responsibility and response time. Anytime you are getting weary your next, at your next level, you remember that probably your mathematics, Mr. Bushaki must not hear that I failed math in my secondary school. Mr. Yeni must not hear that I failed math or Mr. Depoju. Mrs. Balogu must not hear that I failed English. So at all times, you have to let your attitude be 100%. I wish everyone here well in your future endeavors. I want to say a very big thank you to our parents for choosing wisely and bringing us to this wonderful school. I know parents always want the very best for their children and that is why they chose the very best place for us. God bless our parents abundantly and I pray they will the fruit of their labor by God's grace. And our teachers, how can I forget our fantastic teachers? The knowledge they have imparted to us is irresistible. They have been here for us in school, in local parenties, making sure the right knowledge is imparted in every one of us, no matter how difficult it is, it may seem. They took the time to explain every detail for better understanding and did not at any point tolerate any act of indiscipline. Thank you very much for being here for us. Oga, okay. it's like you are in my spirit, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Um, my graduates, like you said, hard work is the only thing that can take you forward. Even if you have the brain, if you don't walk towards whatever you want, you cannot get there. Dreams. Dream high, dream big, and work hard. And you'll be surprised what the Lord can do. Um, like I always tell you, heaven help only those who help themselves. If you pray, God let me pass. God let me pass. If you don't study, you can't pass. If you don't read, you can't pass. If you don't put that time in whatever it is you're doing, you can't get there. So please, the Lord will give you the wisdom the relent memory, the knowledge you need to be able to go forward in life and to be able to be who you want to be. I know some of you, as young as you are, you already have your dreams of being a doctor or be a lawyer. Whichever way, whatever it is you desire to be, all you need to do is to dream and think and walk towards it. Is that clear? I can't hear you, graduates. Parents, I'd like to seize this opportunity to thank you for bringing your children to this school. One of the things Mr. Daniel said, he said this is the 29th uh, graduation that we are having. This morning, I woke up about 5.30 to help in the kitchen to prepare whatever it is they were doing. By the time we finished, I was feeling tired. And I think to myself, Last year we did this, not even more than what we are doing now. And I didn't feel tired. And my spirit just said, the school is 32 years old. You've been doing this for 32 years, which is a long time. Yes, I think I'm getting to that age where I can say I'm feeling tired. But am I not looking? I know a parent saw me this morning and said, Madam, you don't even want to grow old. 
I am growing old. My bones are saying I'm getting old. I might not look it, but I know that I am feeling old. But, like they said, age is in the mind. So I try to push it aside and put it at the back of my mind. So I don't think about my age at all. But the only thing I do is that I dream about what I still want to achieve. I've achieved so much in 32 years, but there's still so much to be done. There's still so much to be achieved. There's still so much we have to work to get to. We still have children that need support, children that need this school growing higher. So we cannot relent. So graduates, it doesn't matter what your age are, it doesn't matter what you have achieved, you have to continue dreaming. You have to continue trying to achieve more than what you have got. St. So Gladys and Grimes, we are trying to achieve more than what we have. We can afford to sit back and just work on what we've got, but this is not enough. We still always have to continue dreaming and working towards what we want to achieve. Parents, the Lord will give you the desire, the grace you need to help your children. He will make a way for you where there is no way. That's my prayer for you every morning, that God should always make a way for you. Whatever it is you are doing, place of work, business, whatever it is, so long as you put your mind at it and you walk towards it, the Lord will strengthen you and guide you towards it. Is that clear? And other children, my little ones, you are not going away to anywhere. You are only going to prove. What class are you going to prove? You are going to primary one, where you are going to have to work harder than you are doing now. You know that, don't you? The Lord will give you the strength, He will give you the wisdom you need to work hard, to do better. You want to do better so that your children, parents can be proud of you. Is that clear? Uh -huh. So, um, I hope, I pray that uh, whatever is left here today, that the rain is not going to be more than this, that will, it will just be the drizzling so that we can enjoy what is left to do. Thank you very much all for coming. And my teachers, uh, I haven't finished. My teachers, thank you very much for all your hard work. Mr. Adepoju, Mrs. Indianoma, thank you very much for carrying the flag forward. The Lord will strengthen you give you the wisdom you want and you too will enjoy and reap the goodness of this school. Thank you very much.